What up, guys? Kevin here. I need a cigarette. I need a cigarette. I don't smoke. It's disgusting. But if there's ever a time I need a cigarette, it would be uh, maybe last night after hanging out with Amnesia Girl. And then tonight, having just beat N. Walker. And not just N. Walker. Final Fantasy XIV 2.0, A Realm Reborn. 3.0, Heaven Sword. 4.0, Stormblood. 5.0, Shadowbringers. 6.0, Shadowbringers 2, a.k.a. N. Walker. <laughs> and then all the patches in between. Now, I do have post N. Walker, but that's... It felt complete. N. Walker felt complete. And I'll go ahead and continue that tomorrow. Um, but I'm done. <laughs> I did it. I feel like, what, Thanos at the end of uh, Infinity War? I don't know what it was. You know, where he's sitting down, and he just has that relief on his face like it's been done. This is me right now. What a, what a journey. I always say, for me, myself, and I, people, like, is it the story? Is it? Gameplay, which is it? To me, it's characters. It will always be characters. I will take bad gameplay and everything else, graphics, if you give me great characters to hang out with. And if you give me great characters to hang out with over 400 plus hours, I don't know what I'm clocked in at, but I think once I beat uh, 6.4 that comes out here in a couple weeks, probably well over 450 hours. And I, I loved it. I loved it all. <laughs> I loved it all. Did I feel like I was playing an MMO? Absolutely not. I felt like I was playing a Final Fantasy game. Um, it definitely is an MMO. <laughs> uh, but what, what do they call it? An RPG MMO. So I, I don't even know where to start. I guess I could start with Endwalker. Absolutely amazing. Just the way it ended. It felt very final. It felt like if you're going to write a beautiful ending to something as long and storied and the culmination, because everything is connected. Everything is connected. Stuff that even happened in 1.0, that disaster, it all carries over to the very end of Endwalker. And the way they did that is just a beautiful mess. <laughs> a beautiful mess. Definitely, they're they're writing it out as they gone, but of course they have, you know, hints of the next, even the next expansion and everything. Um, they did a beautiful job, and this is why I'm really looking forward to Final Fantasy 16. <laughs> if Final Fantasy 16, um, the hype for it for me is just through the roof, and most of it's because I played Final Fantasy 14. Uh, it, it's going to be a special game. It's going to be a very special game. But yeah, I mean, the characters just hanging out with all these guys. Um, you know, Alpha No, Thancred, Astinian. I wasn't a huge fan of Astinian and Heaven Sword. And then at the end of Endwalker, you hang out a lot with uh, Astinian. I'm just like, man, I'm glad he's here. I love Astinian. Astinian's a bro. Uh, then you got Ishtola or Master, Master Matoya. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh her master and shadow bringers that's her alias she goes by and then there's a great embarrassing scene where she gets caught by going that by that name um alice say the twin when they brought in alpha nose twin i'm like come on come on but alice say just has spunk she's her own character everyone is their own character and they're just so fun to hang out with Characters die. Characters lose limbs. Um, yeah, I I think if you're a Final Fantasy XIV fan, you absolutely should play it. You should play it. You should play it. If you love Final Fantasy. If you love Final Fantasy, but even, even I was like, oh, man, it's an MMO. I don't need to play it. I, I think... I think you owe it to yourself to at least give it a shot. But 
Um, that being said, it is a visual novel. <laughs> this game is a visual novel. You know what you're doing if you're just like me who just did the main scenario quest? Um, like, just barely scratching the surface. You're, you're just going from one NPC to another and just reading. Just reading, but it's great. It's great. Um, but there is some voice acting. The voice acting that is there is amazing. Everyone's done beautifully. Um, however, kill me if I hear the words pray tell ever again, <laughs> uh, especially in Heaven Sword. I think they got the message in Stormblood because they cut that out uh, quick. <laughs> but once you get to Heaven Sword, just don't take a shot for every time they say pray tell <laughs> um just loved it the community is awesome um it was great at shadow bringers you can do pretty much everything on your own all the duties and trials and stuff like that that was pretty cool there's a couple you couldn't and being a healer that was so intimidating especially when i'm going in and doing things for myself the first time and dying and getting wipes and you get wipes it's like all right well if they can't get healed because you're dead and then they're dead and i feel bad but the community is really great there's probably like three times over my like 400 and 450 hours of gameplay where i've had mm, not so fun experience just a reminder that i love single player games but apparently they're gonna make the whole game single player so, or you can do everything single player and they do a really good job, a really good job, especially towards the end when, if you don't want to die, you just like wherever I was like, wherever Ishtola goes, that's where I'm going. <laughs> she was always in the party and I didn't die. Um, though I do, I do worry that it really dumbs down the fights, um, and the mechanics. I felt like some of them were a little bit lazy in Endwalker, but man, the Endwalker final it's that final battle, those final two battles were just amazing. Just amazing. Xenos, taking out Xenos, or did you? I don't know. <laughs> He's kind of just there hanging out throughout the whole story. Um, that's some of the negatives is, you know, playing it back to back to back to back to back. It's very <laughs> just Groundhog's Day, just over and over again. Oh, we saved the world. Oh, we got to save the world again. Oh, we got to save the world again. And they're using the Asians as the the big baddies of the world and need to be taken care of. And there's always another one taking its place. You think you took care of them all, but oh wait, there's another. Um, but you know, at, towards the end, you're like, they're not really. They're just trying to survive the way they're trying to survive. And same with us. Who's right? Who's wrong? Um, and then you get to hang out with Emmett Selch for the last two expansions that was fun that was amazing uh stormblood had uh yotsuyu yotsuyu is my favorite baddie just one of my favorite baddies of all time and toward like after stormblood post patches that gets resolved and i'm like how can they top yotsuyu they can't top yotsuyu and then you get to hang out with Emmett Selch. <laughs> and not only in Shadowbringers, which I'll rank the expansions in a minute, but also in Endwalker. It's such a great time, such a great story. I loved it. I, I absolutely loved it. It just feels good that I beat it or I'm caught up. Well, we'll be caught up here in a week once I do all the Endwalker post patches. But it feels like the next main scenario quest is Newfound Adventure. Like I'm starting all over again, starting fresh. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, what else? Just great. Just absolute great. Greatness. Greatness. If you're somebody you're like, man, what's... I don't get the hype. You try it out. I think you can play... I think the first two expansions. Stormblood was free. I don't think it's free anymore unless it still is, but... That's so much content. Uh, and I paid, I think I paid four. <laughs> I think I spent over 200 bucks buying all the expansions and what, over a year now of 
by a uh, credit monthly subscription. But it deserves it. I think it deserves it. So I guess the expansions, the worst expansion, which I would probably put at the bottom, Stormblood. That was still great. I still had a blast with that. Then the next one, I would put... Mm, kind of go back and forth here. I think I'll put a Realm Reborn. A Realm Reborn was... Like, a Realm Reborn and Stormblood felt very similar. I put Stormblood at the bottom just because it felt like after Heaven Sword, it felt a little bit of a step back. Even though I really liked it. I really liked it. Um, but... A Realm Reborn, you're just getting your feet wet. You're really a new <laughs> uh, adventure in this world. So a lot of explanation, learn, learning the world and the characters, stuff like that. Um, but there's a lot of great stuff in Realm Reborn. And then after that, I would put... I think I would put Endwalker. Endwalker was just... It was great, but it felt like, all right, we're wrapping it up. Things are getting a little too crazy. <laughs> You're going to the moon, and then you're going to the edge of the universe. And then you're saving the universe. <laughs> it's great, but the, the ending of Endwalker was absolutely amazing. I think maybe my favorite ending of an expansion. Um, not just because it was the finality, but just where you go, and the story just finally unfolds and feels final. Feels final fantasy. <laughs> um, and then I would put... I think then I would put Heaven Sword, which was just amazing. Just amazing. I think Heaven Sword really, really saved. I know people would say A Realm Reborn really turned it around, but Heaven Sword was where, hey, this is really good Final Fantasy content that you need to play, so much so that you need to put up with A Realm Reborn, because Realm Reborn is a little bit of a slog. Um, even though I loved it. It's the one where people just say, just get through it and get to Heaven Sword. Heaven Sword's amazing. Amazing. Um, and and Shadowbringers was just the best. Hanging out with uh, Emmett Selch and going to the first. And that story there, taking out the um, the Light Wardens. I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> Becoming the Warrior of Darkness. It was so good. The ending kind of fell off a little bit, but... Um, I really do think Shadowbringers and Endwalker are just one expansion. One expansion. Well, every, everything else felt distinct and its own. Um, but yeah, I absolutely loved it. I love towards the end or like the last couple of expansions there. I, what really annoyed me was everyone turned to me to save the day. And even though that was true throughout the entirety of it, um, I felt like a lot of other characters step up. Thancred and um, Mini Minifilia. <laughs> uh, Stinian, just everyone else stepped up. It was like through a Realm Reborn and Heaven Sword and even through uh, Stormblood. I'm like, I got to do it all again. It's like everything was happening around me, but at the end of the day, everyone was looking to me to beat it. And then towards the end, I felt like we were an entire team. Everyone was pulling their weight. Everyone felt important. Like, I was feeling like I was the most important, even though technically I am. But I felt like everyone towards the end of Endwalker was pulling their weight and felt very important. I think Alpha Node is the... Because at the end of Endwalker, right before the expansion ends, you go around and talk to everybody. And it was immediate. Like, you save the best person for last. And I saved it for Alpha Note. I thought I was going to save it for Thancred. I love Thancred, but Alpha Note is, he really is a leader of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Um, and I love his sister too. I just love the game. I just love the game. So, well, score? I can't even give this a score. It's just impossible to give it a score. But there's just nothing like it. Besides, I would say Trails... Just the Trail series. If you love the Trail series, you would love this. If you just love continuity, hanging out the same characters over and over, and world building, crazy world building, just craziness. There's so many, so much similarities between the two. Um, 
But yeah, I'm I'm there. I'm pretty much there. I'm still going to beat the the few remaining main scenario quests, and I'll be caught up. I think 5.4 comes out in like a week or two. I'll be able to play that along with everybody. Every other like patch of Endwalker, I was just so far behind. Even the last one, I was like an expansion or two behind. But here I am. Done. Done. Ben. But yeah, Final Fantasy XIV, awesome experience. I just, I don't know. I just, it's just hard for me to see how anyone could be a Final Fantasy fan and not play it. And that's why I love Final Fantasy. Like, if you're somebody like, oh no, uh, the pixel art, those are my Final Fantasy games. It's like, okay, well, I wouldn't really call you a Final Fantasy fan. I love Final Fantasy because each game does something different. Just does something different. I think the only one I may not play is Final Fantasy XI. Is it still available to play? <laughs> and if so, I hear that it's really, really, I don't know, hard or just different. <laughs> but if it's still around and I've beat the rest, I got a bunch of others to beat, damn right I'm going to play it. <laughs> but there you have it. I'm done. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Later.